Hello, welcome back to developers. Today I am going to make the lesson on how to upload files to the server through that through a application through a application. Okay, what we are going to do is first we are going to upload the file and what we are going to do next is save the path to that file in the database column. So in the companies I am going to make a column called logo which is which will have the path to that company logo image. So the first thing, let's create another column in the company table. Um, company address. I'm going to say logo. And this uh, this column will have the path uh, to that uh, uploaded file. So the next thing we need to do is go to our company's model, backend controls and uh, models and companies, right here and let's create a public variable called file public file okay so next what we have to do is tell in the rules section say that this file is actually a file so what you will do is you will auto you will you will uh, find out whether this is a file that what has been uploaded whether it's a file or not next thing is I'm going to make uh, since we have the logo in our column in the database column I'm going to make the logo is a string so let's make logo as a string uh, yeah and it's not a record field so let's let it, let's not put it here yeah that's all that we have to do in the company section uh, company's model next we have to do is uh, we have to add the file input in the company's create uh, company's create form. So uh, before that, uh, let me explain what this is. Actually, you should be familiar with this. This is uh, we have to add this option. The ink type uh, the form should be ink type uh, multi part form data. Uh, this is this is necessary in order to, for us to have a file upload working in a uh, in any any PHP application actually. It's, so it's necessary for the E as well. So let's add this part. Uh, so the next thing is let's add the field uh, form field. We have model and the form field is file uh, and file input. It's not text input. It's file input. Okay, let's check out now. Okay, so. Actually, we can change the file to the name logo. So go to companies, attributes, attribute labels, and say file is logo. Okay. Yeah. So next is let's change our controller in order to in order to get the file and save it in our in our application. So go to companies controller. Uh, first thing we need to do is get the instance of the uploaded file. So get the instance of the uploaded file. To do this, what we need to do is file equals uploaded file. This is a class that has been provided by E, uploaded file, and get instance. We have to pass in two parameters, the model and of course the attribute name, which is file. file. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to save that file. So model file save as. So here we have to show uh, tell the path where we want to save it. So de in default every file that we upload will be in the web in the web directory so in the web directory I'm going to create a new folder called uploads and so we want to save it in the uploads directory and give it the name of uh, let's 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 put the company name as the image name so image name equals model company name okay 
so next is the image name next we have to have the extension of the image if it's an image if the extension of the file to get at the extension of the file we need to go we direct access a property in model file and extension okay so that is that so let's make sure that this uh, uploads directly is writable otherwise the application can't write into that so let's open our terminal Oops. And let me enlarge this clear this and list down and these are uploads directory so let me give it permissions Uploads. yeah now it has permissions next what we have to do is uh, yeah and the next thing that we have to do is save the path in the db column so to save the path we want to assign the model logo attribute the path value so we have the model logo column and we have said that the model logo is a string in the rules section of the model next what we have to do is assign its value so it's going to be in the uploads directory and the name uh, actually it's basically the same thing as this so let's copy this and save it and let's check it out yeah that seems to do it uh, oh and the next thing you have to do is you have to actually use this uploaded file otherwise you will get an error so e so use e web uploaded file I think that's it so let's check out our form and try to insert a value company name is going to be doing it easy uh, say that it's doing it is two no, it's still doing it is channel the name is some name right. and some address and of course the file let's put I have this file uh, okay I have this. Uh, okay let's put this this is our logo uh, and put the status is so active and let's save okay everything's works seems to be working fine let's go check our uploads directory whether we have that uh, image uploaded go to web and uploads yeah we have our image that has been saved so now let's go check out the database and find out whether the path is saved okay there you go the uploads doing it is channel png is also in our column as well so everything works fine so this is how you actually do an image or a file upload it doesn't have to be actually image it can be a pdf it can be a text document yeah so and of course you can limit if you want only images to be uploaded you can write rule in the company's model section defining what are the basic width the height of the images that you want to be uploaded the extension uh, and a lot of rules can be written here as well yeah so that covers for this lesson i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys will share my tutorials like it comment if anything's wrong and if you like it and do subscribe to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching have a good day bye bye